Hey, and welcome back to Wada. My name's Beast, and today we're back with, uh, You Are My again. Quite frankly, starting the recording for this has filled me with quite a bit of dread, and hence why I quickly did the... made the poll in the community section. If you go there, you will see a poll for the next game I should be playing. The odd choices currently are uh, Two Heart 2, My Fair Princess, The Witch's Love Diary, Corona Blossom, and G Central no Mao. Though, about G Central no Mao, I still haven't actually heard back from Sekai Project on if it's alright for me to play it. So I'll just naturally assume it is. I'll probably also try to ask. Uh, Jast USA for My Fair Princess because I think the rights for that belong to them now. According to what I've read. But yeah. Rona Blossom should be fine as well. That's Front Wing. You can ask Front Wing. But, you know. Actually, I pro should probably. Hold on. Just. Don't. Just close that again. Fuck. That's not what I wanted. Oh well, guess it's open now. Should probably check for Witch's Love Diary as well. And yes, I did go. I did just see that I had some leftover cash left. Some wiggle room in my budgeting. So I decided to get my Fair Princess since it seemed interesting. But yeah, we've like slowly but surely reached the point where I'm uh, where I'm tempted to just put a fucking Valhalla on the pole. <laughs> but yeah, uh, which is love story? It's Sekai Project. Should be asking them for twice uh, for two things then. But yeah. Anyways, uh, fine, I'll cooperate, apparently, here. Fine, I'll cooperate. I don't want the Great T faction to be wiped out. Oh, hold on, this is literally just the scene from the fucking... This is the scene that happens when you first play it, because it push it forces you onto... Fina's route. Also, I dread Mia's route. That's the one you're going for right now. And I dread the route just because I can already tell it's gonna be another. It's gonna be more fucking separation anxiety for the MC. Because, um, like, if he was that anxious about Natsuki literally just moving to a different town. Where he could base CD if he wanted to visit every fucking weekend. The fuck's gonna be the c c case when it's like, ah yeah, she goes back to the moon. And there's a chance that he'll never fucking see her again. Fun. Because I do not expect that, uh, do not expect that Mia just decides I'm gonna stay here because I like this guy now. No, she's too fucking loyal. Hence why the never ending dread is setting in. Honestly, God, don't be surprised if, like, any of these days, I literally just decide, fuck it, I don't want to play this game anymore. This game is just very stressful. Again. <laughs> uh, also, uh, I actually, uh, if you look here, uh, this isn't because of uh, vaccination or something. This is because I have a sensible sensation for my dust allergy, which, uh... I went to for the first to the first one today. They basically just injected me with something that is supposed to help my my body get rid of the severity of like a dust allergy, which is like it's at it's at a point where it's safe for me to do this and also recommend it, where it's not bad too bad, but it's also not ignorable. So I'm basically doing it. So, it's less of an annoyance. And for the first month or so, I basically have to go there every week. So, yeah. 
I'm going to be going there next Wednesday again. Anyways, uh... As one says with his joy, it looks like I have to go along with this game too. The most important. Uh, uh, we already know. We've already seen it. On D3, at the same time, it becomes extremely fast when it comes to security. There we go. We are done with the scene. Skip. Uh, apparently, here yeah, I'm supposed to think of events at home. Let's see if there's just another Fina scene or not. We get we eat dinner at home. Today Mai has made dinner by herself, which hasn't happened in a while. About the things you requested, Mai. Arigato. Kotchi ni motte kite kureru to ureshi na. Yeah, yeah. Brown pork, shrimp, cabbage, garlic chives, green onions. What are you making? Kore o mireba, seikai ga hitome de wakarimasu. The thing in Mia's hands as. The thing in Mia's hands, as she says that, has... A... The thing Mia has in her hands, as she says that... Or no. No. The thing in Mia's hands, as she says that, has a thin, milky white wrapping. Shrimp gyoza. Ping pong! It's been a while since I've had gyoza. Gyoza? What is Mia pokes her head out all of a sudden. She watches my hands with great interest as I start making gyoza. And it's like this. Uh, you stuff various ingredients in a wrapping, fry it, and then eat it. Mia and I help out with tucking the ingredients in the gyoza wrapping as Mai tells us all about it. We've made so much gyoza that Mai had to fry them in several batches. M Mia and I wait in the living room for the frying to finish. Fina looks towards the kitchen and smiles. Huh? Oh crap. I'd forgotten since it's been a while since I've last heard, heard this. As the death march hum when Mia screws up on cooking. No! That's the opposite! That humming is called the death march? And it's when my screws up on cooking. <laughs> At this point, Fina and Mia have finally noticed the gravity of the situation. Shrimp gyoza are lined up on a big plate. At a glance, it's just some delicious looking gyoza. Surrounded by rice, miso soup, pickled vegetables, too, but, uh... The gyoza has an overwhelming presence. An air of tension runs around the dining table. Well then. Uh... Wait for Mai to make the first move, apparently. Mai says it with a strange intonation as she picks up a single gyoza herself. Munch. Choo-choo. Gulp. Mm. What? The de Death March misses what, Mr. Mark. Pick up single gyoza too, just to make sure. My. Is this safe to eat? Hmm. 
Scheiße! Ha! Ha! What a play! Uh, Nessan, Fina, and Mia all look at me with pity. Apparently she had made a mistake on the seasoning and several of them were over seasoned. And the one I ate took the grand prize. Yeah, this wasn't failure though, it's a fuck up. It seems there was another winner aside from mine, which Mia drew. Her mouths were numb for the for a while after we finished eating. Alright, here we skip. Pause it, Fina or Mia. And then we just do not bother watching her struggle. And the next is pass it like I usually do at home and at work. Is it Nissan? And uh, investigate the la laundry basket thoroughly for some reason. Feels like that's just going to end terribly. I suppose it did end terribly. Uh, rest up at home to be on the safe side. Apparently. So, yeah. I think I'll rest up at home to be on the safe side. So, ne? Find me no, something new. Can you give me a sheet of calls, Nesson? Eh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The two will leave the house. I get into bed and sleep for a while longer. I wake up. Try moving the upper half of my body. My body feels somewhat sluggish. I'm not sure whether it's because of my condition or because I overslept. When I look at the clock, it points to somewhere around 12 in the afternoon. I guess they'll be having lunch at school about now. Right. I'll start by taking my temperature and then thinking it think it over. What's the thermometer in Asan's room? Ah, yeah. oh, Mia. Uh, hi. Well, it's inches away from colliding with Mia. There's a bowl placed on the tray she's carrying. Oh, thank you. I was getting hungry just now. I was thinking of checking my temperature because I was because I feel kinda dizzy. So Is he gonna be like, oh the the thermometer should be in Nessan's room and she's only like Borderline headbutting him like ah yes the exact temperature is fucking like fifth fucking sixty one point uh, seven one uh, seven one three degrees Celsius or some bullshit. Which you know, kind of very high, but hey, you, you got you got you got to have the fucking comedy effect in there. I'll do it once I feel better. No, thank you. I ate the rice porridge that Mia made. 
Then I check my temperature a while later, and it's 37.2 cells, uh, degrees Celsius. I do have a fever, but it's not a big deal. So, try squatting and standing up for a bit in the, on the spot. Uh, that's not good. I'm getting dizzy. I have to work today, but uh, I better let Pops know that I'm taking the day off. I wake up. Tatsuyaku, daijoubu? Nothing. Okoshi chatta wa ne. Nah, it's fine. I was sleeping all day today. More importantly, Nessa, what about your job? Kyou wa hayame ni agatte kita no. Jitsu ni ichi nen buri no teiji yo. Nessa smiles pleasantly, having said that. The clock says it's 5:30 in the evening. De? Guess I'm a little sluggish since I overslept. When I took my temperature this uh, during the day, it was uh, 37.2, which is iffy. もう一度測ってみる。それと寝てる間に汗もいっぱい出たみたいだし、少し拭いてあげようか。I feel like let me wi let Nesan wipe is supposed to be like the option for her route. Yeah, probably. Anyways, uh. uh let Nesan wipe me. Should I let Nesan wipe me? Why, what am I thinking? Nah, Nesan, I can wipe myself. So? So, then, I'll take the towel. My temperature is 36.9 Celsius, degrees Celsius. I'm just sluggish because I'm o I overslept. My stomach starts grumbling as dinner approaches. Yeah. Might have been playing it too safe. Your afternoon rice porridge was delicious too, Mia. Thank you. That just might be the cause for my recovery. I pet in Mia's head, imitating Nathan. My and Fina returned home a short time later. Certainly it wasn't anything serious. But it was because Mia was in the house. And because Nesan had come home early. I wasn't lonely at all thanks to them. Maybe I recovered my strength because I was so happy. You know what? I've arbitrarily decided something. I'm not doing the family routes. After I'm done with Mia, I'ma just go immediately into Wreath. I do Wreath, then I'ma move on to the true ending. That's it. That is what I've just decided. And nobody can stop me. Jesus Christ, Corona Blossom is shooting up in the vote. By the way, yeah, I 100% uh, have a bias for this vote because I would prefer to play it to Heart 2 or My Fair Princess. Since those two. But since My Fair Princess seems interesting and to Heart 2 is apparently a very nice visual novel as well. I just roll stats real quick because I've, I don't know why I have the online die roll is still open, but why not? 17, 11, 8, 15, 13, 14. I mean, that's not terrible. That's like a tiny little be bit better than standard array, which what the fuck were standard array scores again? Yeah, 
A standard array is 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8. So I literally just have a plus one on the 10, a plus one on the 12, a plus one on the 13, a plus one on the, 15, on the 14, and a plus two on the 15. Which overall, because of the retarded numbers, does only result in an overall increase of plus... What? Like, fucking... So this here is a like, minus one, minus one, zero, plus one, plus three, plus five. So yeah, it's uh, overall uh, an increase of plus three, it seems, unless I'm being retarded. Maybe I am being retarded, quite frankly. Who knows, I can't count. <laughs> Anyways, uh, screw. Um, here is uh, Brunei Sans T. Uh, go with my flute practice. Uh, go with money. Uh,. And what happened to Natsuki's mom? I'd better get Fina and company familiar with Earth. I think that's probably right. We should take the Italians on an afternoon walk. Oh, there's Wraith. Suppose I'll go home early. I'm home! For some reason, my fucking mouse. <laughs> Jumped over onto the other, uh, other screen for me. There. Tatsuya-san, Walk through the door and see that Mia is about to head out. Going shopping for dinner? Yeah. Actually, I was told to buy a mug cup for my own mug. I see. Do you know where to buy one? Yeah. So the shops are too many. I was looking for where to buy a mug cup for my I check the time, considering how much time is left until my shift. I can accompany her if it takes 30 minutes or so. Let's go look together then. I'll go get changed, so please wait. Aw, oh, is a cute CG. I'm see still a sm still a snazzy looking motherfucker. We walk through the shopping district. Mia is plodding along half a step behind me. At first, everyone in the shopping district was surprised by Mia's outfit, but before I knew it, they had all become used to it. Mia-chan, today Mia-chan, Looks like she's already popular in the shopping district. So we're walking from the entrance to shopping, uh, from the entrance to the shopping district. Then. Hi. There are various shops and stores in the shopping district, and there's a lot of people distributing leaflets and tissues too. Let's. Uh, have you looked at the shops around here, Mia? Yeah. Mostly supermarkets, meat stores, and meat stores. Mia was actually looking here and there restlessly at the displays on the shop shop fronts. Is there a show that store that you're interested in? She's <laughs> attracted to the florist, the bookstore, and various boutiques. She stares at them one by one with great interest. Suddenly you get the urge to pull a prank. I may is preoccupied with a stationary store window, I quickly hide myself in an alleyway. I hold my breath and peek at Mia. Tatsuya-san? Mia's all shaken up. A young lady distributed tissues shows up the moment I decide to head back to Mia. Yoroshiku She hands Mia a pack of tissues. Seeing that, several more people gather around her. Ramen Kanagajima! Honjitsu yori Waribiki Service Kikanju desu! Waribiki Ken desu! 
理髪です居酒屋リンゴでこのチラシでさあ一杯無料よろしく Yeah, I guess I added a bunch of things at once in panics. She might have had a hard time refusing them due to her personality. Or is it simply because she's not used to it? <laughs> I come out from the alleyway as even more people gather. <laughs> that, that's the answer! Sorry about that. Mia looks a little teary eyed. <laughs> I couldn't tell her that I was watching her from behind.、Uh, it's better to be upfront about whether or not you want to accept leaflets or tissues. <laughs> I've done something bad. It might be natural since she came from the Lunar Royal Palace, but Mia doesn't know anything about this world. She seems reliable, but there are times where you have to stick by her. Afterward, I told her about a general store which sold mugs, and we went together to buy a spoon, too. Mia thanked me many times over. Pitta patter, apparently. Uh. Spent the whole day having fun, apparently. Uh, and、uh, uh, there they fucking go. Uh, vacantly stare at the crowd for some reason? As a languid afternoon. It's a languid afternoon before summer vacation. Noon has passed, but it's not even yet evening. I'm on the road home, enjoying the atmosphere. That was fucking fake. Yeah, it's the same old morning. Ugh, that was really good. Oh, so much summer, this t i m Oh, they're so no more. It's a oh, it's got that. It's a everyone had just finished eating Mai's breakfast. Hi, Jumok. Everyone sits up straight and wonders what the commotion is about. Jitsu a go! But she was a yasmi o itadakimasta. Tamari ni tamate ita, Hugit shukin no daikyu des. Last sun goes out quite often on Sundays. Mm hm. Desuga, so go a hondai de warimasen. Go a itinitiju, but she got a chini irarelu no de. Chikyu ni kite kara zutta hatara kizme no mia chan ni. Maru i i n i t i お休みをあげたいと思いますえそれはいいわね本当、一日も休んでなかったよね Spontaneous round of applause erupts というわけでミアちゃん今日はお出かけしてもいいし何をしてもいいのよ家のことは私に任せてねえあの私おやすみ。The fuck's that? <laughs> Mia repeatedly murmurs and thinks over Nathan's r a n t s 連絡終わり。学生さんは少し急いだ方がいいですよ。そうね。I wonder how Mia will spend her day today. Will she take a walk, go shopping, or laze around the house? I'll go see how she's doing after I get home from school. I'm home. Oh, Kairi, that's your good. Kind of different having you around there, son. <laughs> so, ne, at the shimoyo. I'm leaving for work at Salmon's in a little bit, but uh, how's Mia doing? So, they're gonna. Nasan smiles thinly. Stop to the you to. Oro, oro, stare. Flustered. She got to a nine on inare, the nine of Marunda to Mokedo. Nanika. Hmm. What's she doing now? I'll go look for her. After wandering through the house, I find Mia in her own room. She's sitting down on her bed, having nothing to do. Tatsuya <laughs> san! Yo, how's your day off doing? going? I'm not even at it, I'm not. 何をしたらいいのかわからなくて。Mia has a bright expression, but she also looks a little disappointed. You can just do whatever you like. Today. 好きなこと考えてはみたのですが
ジャム作りとかお掃除とかどうしても仕事になってしまうんです好きなことって難しいですね、yeah, that might be true. あっ達也さんシャツのボタンが取れかけてますよ Take a look and see a button dangling off my shirt. これは緊急事態ということで。Maybe. <laughs> She happily takes out a sewing set, being helpful to someone, being recognized that she's useful. That might be what makes me the happiest. I try to take off my shirt. <laughs> But it stops me. Mia's head approaches below my chin. Feels a little ticklish. Sure. Mia's hair whorl is、uh, right in front of me. I become embarrassed for some reason, stare out the window. Hi, what is t h a Thanks, Mia. Mia smiles happily. This kind of expression probably suits Mia the most. Let's head back down. Hi. I'm heading back. I'm heading to work now, but、uh, whether it's making jam or cleaning, just go ahead and do what you want to do. I'll let Nia's son and everyone else know. <laughs> Went to work after that. Apparently, Mia had the chores throughout the house with a happy expression the entire time. After Nia's son heard from me, she apologized to Mia and petted her on the head. Mia was timid the whole time, but it's just like Mia to be that way after all. No day. I got that. Yep. Silly enjoy things until we arrive at a beach, apparently. Mia? Mia was cowering in an extreme manner. This is her first time wearing a swimsuit. Swimsuit looks good on you. Honto deska? Mia? Mina mizigina no dakara. Mia dake hazuka shigatte mo shikata ga nai desho? Ah, hi. Eh, so desne. Mia trots over to us. Tatsuya san! Umi te. Oki desu ne. That is. Kore, zenbu mizu nan desu yo ne. Of course. <laughs>、uh, that does mean we don't need this anymore. Let me just. I don't know. Every time the fucking stat, online stat roll shows up, I get the urge to roll. Oh, that one's a fucking good one. Oh, shit. Ah,、oh, shit. I have to fucking note that one down. 14, Anti social wizard build for this. Could work. 17 and 16 dexterity. 12. Strength. 14 constitution. 12 wisdom. 9 charisma. Yeah, that could work. Could work. Could work. I'll have to fucking remember that later. Oh well. She looks at the sea surf and the ocean in the same gaze. I'm sure she's always stared at it from the moon, the blue parts of Earth. I expect it's completely different for her when she sees it up close. Tatsuya! Mia was in the sea, and she was in the sea. I'm not sure what to do. Got it. This should only be Fina's second time to the beach. But compared to the zero times that Mia has been here, she's quite the senior. Fina walks towards the parasol. Mia is playing tag with the wave. The next wave goes up to her ankles after her daring attack. I'm sure the withdrawing waves brushed sand under the soles of her feet. 
inflate the rubber tube by blowing air into it. Here, Mia. You definitely won't sink if you have this on, so don't worry. You finally come to Earth and all, so you ought to try it. I'll be holding hands with you the whole, the whole time. But it won't be scary that way, right? Mia turns bright red. Here. We take Mia's hand and we slowly soak into the sea water. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Mia moves up and down with each motion of the waves. Ow! Mia kicks and struggles out of ease. She doesn't like her feet not touching the ground. Her legs bang against me. <laughs> oh, try to fight against floating. Just leave it to your body. Hi. She answers with a good response. But Mia kicks and gets tangled with my legs each time after that. We return to the beach. Mia is still shuddering slightly. I'm sure. You tried your best, though, considering it's the first time. Pet Mia's head. Don't worry about it. Anyway, you don't need that tube anymore. She's clinging on in onto the tube with both hands, even though she's on the sand. Uh, Mia, let's go the tube, life tube while blushing again. Uh, we, uh, yeah! we skip. <laughs> you can hear Mia singing when I come home from school. Sounds like a pretty refreshing song. <laughs> Alright, seems to be enjoying herself. Rome. Um, Mia pat pitter patters to the doorway. <laughs> seems to be having fun. Were you cleaning? <laughs> Mia blushes and curls up like a little hedgehog. But it's fine if you're enjoying yourselves, right? Yourself, right? It's gotta be. A... It's better to be in a bright mood when you're cleaning, anyway. <laughs> Mia says that like she really means it. Even the places we can't see are sparkling thanks to Mia. There's no dust in the highest places and the bathroom towels are folded up. Mia, Erai wa ne. Some that hated in like some of the classrooms. Back when I was at school. The dustiest motherfuckers sometimes. Which is like Pure pain when you have a dust allergy. <laughs> Mia's blushing from the praise. There's so many places in the house is Mia cleaned exactly. The do dull doorknobs and the railings on the stairs are clean. The greasy ventilation fan in the kitchen is spotless. Looks like the floor has been polished recently, too. So Fina pats Mina sh uh, Mia's shoulder with a happy look. Mia is? <laughs> As I thought, her head is spinning. Mia-chan same topic comes up after we finish eating dinner. Now it's more like uh, everyone was competing to see who knew more about Mia, what Mia worked on. <sighs> Mia is blushing with a stunned look as usual. I didn't realize that Mia worked that much either. Kirena 
心もきれいにって言った。皆さんに聞かれてたなんて。スティーンは、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、私の冗談ですよフィーナ様メイさんスーディスフィーナをストラップンプロトプロテストフォーデスマイルバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバイバ Everyone gives Mia their thanks. What? Mia Chan? Mia? Do you know Mia? Mia Chan, hold on, I can't do it. Nesson hugs Mia and comforts her like a child. Yoshi, Yoshi. Hi, Taur, da yo. Mia, you're the best at that. Yeah, I'm sure she is. 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 Fina has a really gentle look on as she says that. That'll be good. Mia seems to be the happiest when she's working. Rather than working, it's more like she's being used, of use to people. I don't know. Mio stopped crying for the time being bowed. Best regards from now on, Mia. Mia Nat responds with teary eyes. We ate dinner and salmon and then had to return home. Today's meal was delicious. On the menu was pepperoncino made with light white onions and roasted sea bass. The savory roast seep with the rich flavor of white wine was crisp and lightly browned. The tartness of the tomato sauce together with the olive oil was a good match, too. Could you shut the fuck up, please? You're making me hungry. I don't actually know what exactly pepperoncino is. <laughs> Grab this again. Let's specifically like Pepperoncino bass. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it opened it twice. Who fucking knows, quite frankly. What the fuck is Pepperoncino though? Pepperoncino is a generic Italian name for hot chili peppers. Spicy fish. It's spicy fish. <laughs> of course, the stimulation of pepperoncino and some garlic pepper matches the sweetness of the onions, too. We returned with great satisfaction. Jin-san is not bad, but... やっぱりおじさんの腕は一段上だよね。確かにそうだったわ。ジン君も新作にチャレンジするスピリットはいいんだけど。The one who made the meal today was Pops. 
My assessment is the same as the others. Though it was a simple plain dish, the taste was distinctive. Mia heads to the kitchen. It's the usual relaxing tea time. Mia? Are you okay? I take a look at the kitchen and there was a broken cup by Mia's feet. There are some big pieces lying on the floor, and there are, but there are small fragments too. <gasps> Mia frantically tries to collect the fragments on the floor, but it's impossible to bend it now that it's like that. You'll hurt yourself if you rush it. Mia? <gasps> Everyone could see Mia's downcast look and crestfallen shoulders. Everyone shares the work and cleans the floor after that. Mia silently moves her hands without saying much. Mia makes tea again after we finish cleaning. She's still gloomy. Speaking of which, just now was. <laughs> was the bug with the black cat sketch? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm a little concerned about Mia, but I'm sure she'll be cheery again once tomorrow comes. ミアはまだ起きていないのかしら。うん。さっきまで一緒に朝ごはんを作ってたけど。She Fina speaks during lunchtime. She sounded angry, but she truly is worried about Mia. She'll get better over time. You shouldn't be too conscious of it either. Tatsuya? Huh? Mia ni nani ka shita? Me? I didn't do anything. I denied in a hurry. I didn't think that Fina would suspect something like that. She must be really worried about Mia. Why would I do something like that? Fina lets out a big sigh. Natsuki joins in after overhearing our conversation. I tell Natsuki about the current situation. なるほどね。ミヤちゃんが気にするのもわかるかも。気にするとは？だってミヤちゃんが割っちゃったのって、フィーナが地球で初めて買った記念品なんでしょ？ でも、あれは安いもので、記念のものって、値段じゃないよ? No, I suppose I could see that. That's just like Mia. Mia. Let's go buy her a yogurt as a present on the way home. And also a new cup so that Mia won't fuss over it. そうね。そうしましょう。Mia dealt with cleaning, laundry, and cooking more enthusiastically than usual that day. It was like she was trying to make up for her mistake yesterday. The yogurt I bought and Fina's new cup only cheered her up a little. Yeah. It makes me sad if I can't hear Mia singing when I got home. Besides, just one mere mistake won't shake Fina's faith in you. Right? A cute Fina and... Eh? Mochiron! Mia becomes re-motivated as she clenches her fist and bows. She's greatly thrilled when praised. She gets embarrassed and she gets depressed when she makes a mistake. 
Father Mayo is diligent. Kind of cute, too. It's Saturday, a day off from school. I'm tagging along with me of shopping this morning. Mia suddenly points upward at the shopping district. Which one? Mia trots over to the roadside tree and points right overhead. Hmm, I look at Mia frantically jumping up and down. Spot a bird's nest. Oh, it's a bird's nest. Oh, are they there right now? Stare at the nest, but I don't notice any stirring. Nope, nothing. I wonder if the nest is already finished. It's finished already. Well, that's just the impression I get. Nests are for hatching an egg to raise a chicken, after all. That's why it wouldn't be strange if an egg hatches there once it's completed. I wonder what kind of birds they are. Do you remember what they look like? Short and stout. ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。
猫は木に登ることもできるんですよね。She looks up the branch with concern. Apparent birds survived that harsh environment when they were chicks, so I'm sure it'll be fine. There are wild birds living throughout the whole town, so believe in their instincts. So, this is it. It's a good thing. Mia mutters like she's trying to persuade herself, and then slowly follows the road home. There aren't any wild birds on the moon. I can understand why Mia is concerned. Exit Central Station on my way back from school today. Can't buy the polish used for wooden floors unless we get out from Itsurugasuki Central Station. The stockpiled polish had been used up lately. That's what the person who used it up herself had said, so I'm going shopping with her to guide and carry the bags. We take off once I arrive home and get changed. <sighs> Mia opens her eyes in surprise and speaks up. Mitsurukazuki Central Station. The crowd is at its usual size for a weekday, and there's a lot of people around. Of course, being in the province capital naturally means that there are a lot of stores, as well as enterprise branches and government offices. We'll see the store once we walk a little. Oh yeah, uh, don't respond even if someone calls out to you. They'll all try to sell you some if you try to talk to them. わ、わ、わかりました! Mia timidly traverses across the big intersection. They're shopping quite far away from the house today. For that purpose, Mia changed into plain clothes for once. It's unusual to see you in plain clothes. So, so this car? I didn't have a lot of time to wear it, but I had to take it from the next day. Mia is always in a maid outfit when she is out shopping. That's why I figure today feels kind of refreshing. Probably feel hot in a usual outfit. It's dark and has long sleeves, too. Yes, that's right. Oh? I see a bit of a white building, a, a big white building appear in front of us while we talked. There's the store we're heading to. People can pick up most of what they're looking for if they come here for everyday goods. Well, it's here. Mia mutters to herself as she looks up at the building. They sell a bunch of stuff here, but it's uh, 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 they sell a bunch of things here, so it's difficult to choose each time. We are here and all, so let's take a look around some of the floor levels. Hi. Right, let's go in. I'm sure Mia will enjoy looking at the different kinds of merchandise. That might actually make her head spin. Are you okay, Mia? Looks like Mia is intoxicated by the crowd of people inside the store. She endured it at, it at first, but then can't stand it anymore and becomes sick. That's okay, but uh, you should have told me if you're weak against crowds. I see. There's no way around it then. There are more people here than usual. Have you come down now? Uh, hi. Nantoka. Let's, let's buy the polish to start with. Oh, we'll save the rest for another time and head home after that. It's fine. I was only thinking of taking a look around later. Let's get going. Sumimasen. 
I pay and then lead me out to the station by hand. I'm, I'm walking too fast. <laughs> Uh, let Mia take it easy once we get home. She might have gotten a little feverish. Felt a little bad since I'm the one who brought her out. But I want to go again once she becomes accustomed to it. It isn't summer vacation yet, but every day continues to be very hot. Tomorrow's the closing ceremony. However, there's still normal classes until then. I'm taking off. I'm taking it off. <laughs> Mia sees us off and head to school with Fina. Mia suggests using a parasol for the intense sunlight, but Fina refuses. Now, now. Mia set that out of concern for you. I'm not doing it on purpose. <sighs> Fina peered into my face. Her gaze was a lot more serious than I thought and agitated me a little. What's wrong? Huh? <laughs> like the time, go, the, 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 the time comes for them to head back. And instead of like being a big drama, like oh no, Mia has to decide between staying on the moon uh, or, uh, uh, with Tatsuya or going back with Fina. Instead, when the time for them to leave comes, like Fina is just like, uh, to, like at the fucking airport, like okay, listen up, that uh, that man, grab him. I I, yeah, I I want him as my servant's wife, uh, husband. I mean, they, they they get along far too fucking well. Quite frankly, it'd be a shame not to do to, to act on this chance. <laughs> In the end, Fina doesn't tell me the reason for her suspicious behavior, and we arrive at school. What's that about? Okay. Uh, the chief de delegations when the Lunar Kingdom first dispatched a fleet was to minister Mr. of State. <sighs> It happened again, but I was giving it given a difficult question during introduction to selenology. It happened again when I was given a difficult question during introduction to selenology. And it's now cleaning time after school. It's probably a date. Yeah. <laughs> Stop kneeling. You can pay me back for doing my cleaning at the start of summer vacation. Okay, that's <sighs> And again, when I had a casual conversation with a classmate after school. Why is. <laughs> Why do I feel watched? <laughs> I'm on my way home now. That's asking too much after school. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking of happening as much as I can then. Ah, so uh, I'll help out as much as I can. So please give her more extra stuff when the time comes. <laughs> And again, when I talk to everyone in the shopping district. Woman, why do you watch me so closely? <laughs> Feels like Fina has been keeping her eyes on me all day today. I ask Fina directly once work ends. Hey, Fina, uh, why are you staring at me today? It kind of felt like you were, though. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I'm not satisfied, but I can't question Fina further like this. However, the same thing happens the following day. 
では通知表を返す出席番号順に教託まで取りに来てくれ達也はどうあ、まぐらいあ、まあ、そうそうぼっちぼっちとはあ、means that they're decent よければ見せてもらってもいいかしらいらっしゃいませーあれ What's wrong? うん今、外にフィーナがいたような気がしたんだけど<笑><笑>もしかしたらさっきから柵の外に見え隠れしてた影もフィーナだったのかなハムオッケー Leave it to me! I pretend to look at the time for a short while and then. I suddenly rush out of Salmon's front door. Uh. Fina? You've been staring inside the store this whole time, haven't you? Yeah, that's me. Natsuki noticed and she told me. You've been observing me constantly lately. During introduction to Selenology, when I talked to my classmates after school, and the shopping district too. Can, can, can you tell me what, what you're up to? Stare at Fina head on with a serious look. That way, she can't talk her way out of it. So. So. No. Mia wa. Kurara kara wazukari shite iru taisets na. Kurara? Eh. Watashi no uba des. Kurara Clementis. Clementis. She's Mia's mother. So, why does Mia come in the, come up here? <laughs> hey, wait! Fina swiftly turns back to the house. Listen up. Complain about my thick headedness, and we're gonna make you fucking feel what it. make you fucking experience what it feels for that thick head to make impact with yours. Listen up, this thing here has a lot of power. My fucking hand hurts now. <laughs> like, the worst part is that、uh, I didn't hit, like, here. I hit, like, here. Which, that could have gone dangerously wrong. <laughs> like, I mean, the error was already, like, the same distance as that distance would be. <laughs> Ah,、uh, my fucking head. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> I don't know what that noise just now was. <laughs> I think I'm headed now. Sir, you're going to be able to get out of here. My question remains unanswered as Jin drags me back inside. <sighs> This will be the last summer vacation of my school life. University is basically school as well, and you'll also have fucking summer vacation, those. We were assigned homework, but they went easy on us third years. I don't know. 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 Did some come up? The queen got a idawa, Koshi Gyoji mo managarete itanda kedo. Yahari, Ikutska was sake de tore nai monogarumi taina no. Tai henda ne. Hm, Naritelu kara daijobio. 
Fina comes rushing over to us. Uh, Mia comes rushing over to us while we conversed. Hime-sama, dress o arai o emashita. Haikatta wa ne. Come think of it, Fina's wearing casual clothes for once. Sassoku kite iku kara, tetsudatte chowdai. Hai! Oh, your work starts today? Eh. <laughs> Fina speaks like she has no other choice. But as far as I can see, her expression seems to be kind of relaxed. Like she was going for a walk. Puts me a little more at ease. Karen comes to greet Fina. Fina-sama,お車の用意ができました。私もご一緒できればよかったのですが、そういう機会も。Fina places a hand on Mia's shoulder. Fina Sama. Soro Soro. Hey. Fina Sama no Omodoriva. Asno Gozen Chunina to Mimas. Yoroshko Negaitasmas. She gives us a courteous bow, then the two of them enter the car. The car leaves. Fina has it hard too. I hand ever had him as a guy. Hime Samaga, who could you mot in a satiri kota de Marimas no day? Sing, you're right. That's a bit more like I sing. All right. I feel a little embarrassed being admonished by Mia. Mia watches the car leave for a short while. As expected, Mia knows more about Fina than the likes of me. I am to walk home with me Mai after work ended. I'm back. Now we just happened to be. She was in front of Sam's at the right time of today. <laughs> I think someone just, like, popped up. Uh, yeah, uh, someone in my friends list now has uh, changed his profile picture to the cheerleader skin of the mortar chick from Blue Archive from the engineering club of Millennium that reminds me currently Bina is again the raid which I hate that dude uh, like I have like a very like okay team to handle uh hardcore piercing bosses usually like their damage output is very good honestly but it just it is never enough for fucking Bina Bina always without fail at least demands three fucking attempts and it pisses me off I'm honestly just waiting for another mystic boss because I can just shred those fuckers. <laughs> uh, for your info, I have... Uh, what's her name? The chick with the mask that shows up in the prologue as well. Uh, like I have her maxed out on the active as well as one of the passives. As well as, and also her levels maxed out. As well as her weapon currently. <sighs> Not completely maxed out because I still need to use like. I think her weapon was like level 35 or something. I don't fucking remember. And the other passives were like both level 7, I think. So also close to maxing out. Then I also have Bunny Suit Karen, which also deals like a lot of damage. <clears throat> and then I also have uh, what was her name again? Like someone from the Gourmet Club. I forget the name though. Uh... 
Wakamo, that was her name, the chick with the mask. Then, uh, first off, close that, because we don't need that. Uh, then... Haruna, that was her name. I thought it was Haruna, but then I thought, nah, probably not. That's probably just... My imagination speaking. Uh, the uh, context. Uh, my, one of my exes is called Haruna. I remember trying like that weird other piercing guard boss, which is like, ah, yeah, uh, have fun trying to damage him without using crowd control. But the second you use even like the tiniest drop of crowd control, he just crumples. <sighs> Hungry bunch is here at just the right time. Good timing, this. Good timing, this. Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> Anyways, why did I suddenly have like a weird rant about Blue Archive? Something I'm also salty about. I consistently... I, like, I usually always in the raids get gold, but I never fucking manage to get into platinum, and it's starting to piss me off. Because I feel like I'm doing well, and then I look, and it turns out I'm not doing well, because Moonspeak has decided to deal infinite damage again. <laughs> Mia challenged. What Mia challenged were mostly seafood dishes. They also retained most of their original form, which meant raw, unheated fish. On the menu today is salad with fresh, juicy lettuce and cucumbers, thick pieces of minced skipjack tuna on top of tomatoes, and finely cut onions. Plenty of sesame ponzu dressing was poured around it. The wrapping is crisp and. Uh, the wrapping is crisp. Grilled, grilled sweetfish. Sweetfish is placed on top of the rice with rugged seaweed and Japanese wild parsley, making the tuna flavor soup good with hot water over rice. The aroma rising from the dining table makes my stomach rumble. Oh, I didn't notice. Man, I am in a weird mood for sashimi suddenly. I remember, I've had like sashimi twice before. Both times, <laughs> it was as a fucking. It was during my one of my uh, internships for an optician at like a big mall. And this big mall happened to have like two Chinese places. One, there was one time where I uh, uh, decided, you know what, fuck it, why not? I want to just have sashimi for for, for lunch <laughs> because why not try it? <laughs> so I had sashimi for lunch. It was actually quite good. Uh, another time, though, uh, the other the other Chinese rest uh, like 
uh, Japanese restaurant there had like a full on fucking bento box you could order. So I got that and it was quite nice. Man, I suddenly have like a very big, big fucking hunger boner for a giant, for like sushi or something like that or sashimi or fucking knows. Two pieces of sweet fish was also prepared per person that day. It was appeared in each of our stomachs along with the rice. Did I read that? I did. I think. Uh, a dispensed sweet, uh, skipjack two and a salad disappears from the large pat, pot plate in a matter of seconds. There we go. Now I did. Clearly. 100%. <laughs> Without doubt. I ate two bowls of rice, too. That was pretty good. Ah! Mia-chan! Mia blushes with happiness mingled with embarrassment. So don't underestimate us, guys. After saying that, she brings out yogurt from the refrigerator served in champagne glasses. Why champagne glasses? Following up with that is a small bottle of jam with a divulsion of color and colors inside. Flavor. Oh, she immediately has my fucking heart. She immediately has my fucking heart. I love kiwi jam. Mia best girl immediately, without a fucking second, without a doubt, immediate best girl. <laughs> I'm still so salty, I can't, like, I used to fucking adore, like, when I, when I was younger. I used to adore just eating these, like, uh, basically it was like, it literally was like these, like, tiny sticks of cream cheese with breading on them. That you would like bake in the oven, like I would. I I talked about this before probably already, and I, I've expe I've expressed the amount of saltiness I feel because of that. And basically, like I've I've had these before. Like uh, basically, they were like these uh, cream cheese sticks that were breaded and then put in the oven, and and they tasted fucking great. I fucking adored them, even just eating them without anything. But what I loved more than anything, was eating them with kiwi jam. Which, that may sound odd, but that was delicious. Like, Jesus Christ. Especially what's nice is it was like literally just like an 8 minute meal. Like, they only took like 8 minutes in the fucking <laughs> in the fucking oven. And then you literally just, could just like eat the entire fucking thing. Oh, I fucking miss them. Fuck it. Hold on. I'm I'm looking up how to fucking I'm looking up how to make fr uh, make them that myself. No, no, not 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 spinach. Just not, not also not mozzarella.
I just don't make them like they used to anymore. <laughs> I, I jest, of course. That's the fucking things. Aldi Zood. It's supposed to still be Aldi Zood, yet every fucking Aldi I go to, I never find them. I'm mad. Ah! So I got like a message that I need to reply to real quick. Uh, that is gone, you boobs, suddenly. <laughs> Not what I was expecting to suddenly be subjected to. I say subjected like it's a negative. Uh, graced with. Yeah, that, that fits better. Graced with immediately after Logan. Uh, what the fuck? I should honest to God look like. Look up the fucking. Cool. in Corona Blossom, thankfully. Probably looked that up beforehand, but alas, I forgot. Oh well. Anyways. No, 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 no. Fuck the strawberry moon jam. I have had strawberry jam before. Give me the moon. Give me the fucking kiwi jam. There you go, you missed your chance to screenshot. <laughs> you know what I could just randomly do all of a sudden? You know what I could really just randomly do all of a sudden? Bam. Fuck the rules. I have no money, actually, but who cares? Uh, I am making a fucking DD character real quick, because why the fuck not? I suddenly feel like it. I'm chaos. Yes, I've made far too many characters in this, and I've used precisely zero of them. Also, there is a version, two versions of Mural Rune Carver. Uh, one, the actual version, and one Mural, but stronger. <laughs> I have jet points, blade singer, customized ability score point, score increases. Bam! It's trying to give me a fur bulk for some reason. Oh, whoops. Anyways, we had the ability scores from this year, so let's just immediately. Seventy intelligence. 16 Dexterity. 
14 constitution, 9 charisma, 12 wisdom, 12 strength. Boom. Beautiful. Now then, uh, let's, let's ignore race for now, and we're just immediately going wizard. Where is the wizard? I've decided to create a wizard. Squizzard. You know what? Fuck it. I've randomly decided I'm making a Warforged. Uh, Everon Rising of the War or Ship would be Guide to Everon. Uh, it should probably be that. Yeah, this one, actually. Fuck it, make, let's make it a skirmish or war for it. Actually, can I still have choose that when I go with the rising war? No, I can't. Let's go with the other thing then. Uh, Wayfinder's Guide to Eberron. We're going with skirmish or war for it, and we're going with Darkwood Core. Oh, well, you actually got a proficiency with your profession with light armor there. Neat. It does give 15 AC currently, but that's because of high ace, uh, high dexterity already. Oh, because it already increased it. Uh, okay, hold on. That's, that's not right. I select its custom increases. Fuck, that doesn't work with that, apparently. Oh well, guess we'll go with uh, this one. You know, I don't need the skirmishers. Skir five movement speed is nice and all, but we don't need it, really. We don't need it. Three score increase. Huh? Oh, it's just an automatic increase. Because apparently, the custom ability score increase doesn't fucking matter. That's always fun to fucking see, piece of shit. <sighs> so apparently I'm not using Warforge then. could grab an Aladrin for once. Actually, hold on. I've decided. I have decided that I will be using a fairy because fairies are funny. Intelligence for spellcasting modifier because I'm not a retard. A background. That's what the fuck background are we picking? Huh. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's pick this. Uh, let's pick Urchin. Urchin kind of fits with the whole like prankster motif. So why the fuck not? That's what I say. Uh, there we go. We've picked Urchin. They don't need any of the optional things. We've got our ability score increases to one. Because two one is always the right one. We increase dexterity by two, intelligence by one. There we go. We have eighteen, eighteen. That's lovely. You love to see that. Uh, languages. Uh, you know what? Fucking. Hmm. Nah, let's not grab celestial. 
Let's grab Primordial instead. Because Primordial is fun. Anyways, uh, proficiency. Let's grab proficiency in Arcana and proficiency in Investigation. Because why not? Uh, I will level up to level 2 at the very least. Because level 1 is boring and level 2 gets, gives me my fucking Arcane Tradition. Which I want. Oh, hold on. I need to actually... Exclude all of these. Apply Swords Restriction. Mm. Now then. Uh, Chronergy. Abjuration. War Magic. War magic is, uh, sounds actually kind of fun. That looks actually kind of funny. Are there other options? Chronergy. Gravdurgy. Order of Scribes is always kind of funny, actually. I don't think I've actually made a good blade singing build, though. <laughs> Fuck it, let's make a blade singer. That's going. That's bound to be funny. Oh, we got a weapon proficiency. Oh, I could grab a flail, but I won't. I won't because uh, I am grabbing a rapier. Uh, actually, you know what? Rapier would deal more damage, but a scimitar fits better. Anyways, uh. Cantrip, cantrip, spellbook, spellbook. Uh, cantrips. Let's look at cantrips. Uh, you always want prestidigitation. Prestidigitation is just kind of really fucking busted. It's the goat. Uh, you also grab. I'm also grab booming blade. Booming blade is also very good early levels, and the moment I get extra attack, I can just swap it out. Until then, booming blade is literally like an, a superior form of attack. Uh, I do also want something arranged, though. What the fuck is Sepping Sting, actually? Doing a man say that, uh... For, and for pro... Actually, it's a good student saving throw, not too good. Uh, hmm. Uh, you know what? You know fucking what? I think I'm actually gonna, gonna be grabbing Ray of... Nah, not Ray of Frost. I'm gonna be in the front line surprisingly frequently as a Blade Singer. I suppose... Mm, told the... I told the dead would actually be a good ranged thing. They try to run, I told the dead the fucker. Anyways, a spells, 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 spells. Uh, I guess, hmm. Uh, you always want silvery bob. Silvery bob is just kind of a, uh, a need. Shield, because shield is good, uh, unless they roll without showing the results. A person could be useful. Nah, I'm not actually gonna do that. Chromatic orb. 
Oh, actually, that's funny. You can actually cast Chromatic Orb without the use of the diamond properly. You just need to pay like 50 GP once, and it's just a free thing you can cast. Yeah, grab Chromatic Orb, why not? Uh, that is nice, versatile damage. Order of Scribes just kind of like, uh, has to grab Chromatic Orb anyways. Uh, I'm not Order of Scribe, it's just I have an Order of Scribes set up. Uh, you kind of have to grab Order of Scribes. Uh, yeah, you kind of have to grab it as Order of Scribes, because it is literally so fucking busted on Order of Scribes. Order of Scribes has an ability where whenever you cast a spell, you can choose the spell damage from any of the other spells you know. AKA Chromatic Orb, you just grab it and immediately you have access to almost every single type of damage, no matter how shit the spells for the damage type are. Uh, grab and sleep. There are so many wizard spells, Jesus Christ. You know what, actually, hold on, I'm grabbing Find Familiar, actually. Find Familiar, you gotta love the rituals. Uh... And what else do I want? What else do I want? Hmm. That just calls it bro, floating. We don't need floating tense, tense is floating disc. Cause fear could be fun. Fun crowd control and all that. Earth, actually, Earth Tremor. What did Earth Tremor do again? Just create another new in the area. Must make a dexterity saving throw. And it's knocked prone. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna grab False Life. False Life can help me stay alive on the front lines. There we go. Oh yeah, right. It's still preparation, technically. Uh. Uh. Mage armor, shield, bad familiar, silver barb, sleep, chromatic orb. Uh, that's seven, technically. I guess we can get rid of Find Familiar, technically. Uh, you can, can, can you still cast it as a... Hmm. Don't actually know. Uh, Chromatic Orb. Get rid of Chromatic Orb. Grab False Life. Uh, that's prepared spells. Lovely. Uh, and just like that, you've seen, watched me create a character. The only thing I still need to do is what uh, is mind the equipment. But hey, how much time did I waste? I don't fucking care, quite frankly. I had fun with this. Uh, <laughs> I make way too many characters if you haven't fucking gathered. I'm so fucking sorry. Uh, you know what? Let's just, uh, what name? Or, uh, fucking, uh, what was ra what race was it again? What race was it again? It was a fairy. Uh, Fuck it, I'm calling him Sildeen. There we go. Now I can save it since it actually has a name. Uh, probably should actually change the... Oh, there's no fucking pictures of fairies. I guess he's gonna be a fur bulk in appearance, at least. I don't fucking care, quite frankly. I make way too many characters. I'm, s I'm still like, I still hope I can play Mikhail in a campaign soon. The problem is with M Mikhail is I can't play him alone. The moment I play Mikhail, I have to have another player that also plays another character. Namely, Nikolai. I thought about talking about Mikhail and Nikolai before. Uh, they are a pair. 
You do not have one without the other. That's the entire shtick they've got going on. Anyways, uh... I am highly drunk. Is it the... Uh, is it the red tincture? Is that what's going on? I've watched a fucking re upcoming video recently, so uh, sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it, bro. It's totally normal, bro. I'm not doing anything weird, bro. Anyway, so... Oh, hold on. Uh, these, this is actually peanut caramel chocolate for once, uh, instead of the strawberry cheesecake one. Someone manages to taste sweeter. Than the strawberry chocolate. Salt always always comes in later, a bit later, and balances it out a little bit. We should come in come in a little earlier. Way to help with that would probably have been if they actually just had like full halves instead of like shredded peanuts in there. Like nicely salt roasted peanuts in there or something. I think it would work really well. Don't quote me on that though. I'm not a cook. I don't know how this shit this shit works. Hoo ah. But wasn't it difficult to make so many different kinds of jams? <laughs> Right, I gotta re-roll that since I've used it now. That's another technically good score, but uh I'm too bad. See, you're even thorough enough to put labels on them. Probably made recipe notes for the jam too, knowing you. I also wrote down the re reactions to each of the jams that people try. As I thought. そこまでとは恐れ入りました。やっぱり上達する人には、そういう見えない努力があるのね。偉いわね、ミヤちゃん。Their son pets me as head, praising her. お兄ちゃんもよく見てるよね。You think? そうよ。可愛い瓶に見とれてちゃう。ミヤちゃんの仕事ぶりには気づかないわ。Honest God, it would be really funny if, like, the next day, Fina comes home and just sees, like, Mia clearly fucking smitten with Tasia, and it's like, what the fuck happened while I was gone? What? Why did you exclude me like this? Anyways. <laughs> Mia's face turns bread red. Oh yeah, uh, there's no marmalade and Mia's jam, is there? If you look at it, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Fun fact, uh, I don't think there's actually a difference between marmalade and jam in the German, la German language. I think, uh, unless a uh, confitura works.
Okay. Yeah, so basically, jam is literally just like a fucking type of bitter marmelade. Which we just call the entire thing marmelade. Mia yeah, says it uh, was very difficult to say. It's hard to believe that there's a jam Mia dislikes. Mia <laughs> Mia 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 いっぱいね。そうだね。じゃあ、レシピノートを用意して。はい。Mia uh, teaches Mia how to make non-bitter marmalade after that. There seemed uh, to be various techniques such as using less skin and then cutting the skin together with water. The cooking the skin together with water that rice has been washed in. Nessan and I stare at the two of them in a heartwarming way. I guess it's off to take a piss real quick. Oh, hold on. Let me just wait for the transition to be done. There we go. I'm off to take a piss. I have returned. It's a Sunday during summer vacation. Normally, there wouldn't be any better. There wouldn't be a better chance to sleep in. However, woke up earlier than my alarm clock. All rats. Good to walk the Italians now before the heat gets unbearable. Change to my drag suit as I think that and step out for a walk. Shh. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and play. <laughs> the three dogs run around on top of the hills. Looks like the weather will be good throughout the day. I'm sure it'll get hotter. Oops. Uh, if the sunlight keeps being this intense. Or so I thought, but the sky suddenly becomes cloudy. I feel like the humidity levels ro level rose really quickly, too. I uh, have a hunch that a storm is coming. Carbo, pepperon! Got the Italians in a hurry, attach their leashes, and descend the hill. Moisture accumulated in the sky rains towards the ground all at once and to the shopping district. That's just a little further to go now that I've come this far. I'll run back home like this. Take a breather once I tie the three dogs to the dog houses. Half of my wetness is from Pepperoncino and Carbo stuffy fur. Man and bait. What is the appointment? I grab a towel from the bathroom and dry my face. I don't have to change clothes. Change my shirt for the time being. It seems like the whole lower half of my body is wet too. Can't be helped, I'll change out of my pants as well. <laughs> I'm in a pair of trunks. May I enter it for some reason. <laughs> hey! Uh, could you close the door for a moment? Why did Mia come in here? That was surprising. You can hear Mia taking the deep breaths in the hallway. I'm sure Mia is apologizing with a flushed face still. Uh, well, uh... In any case, I change clothes while I talk. Uh, did you think I went out? I see, uh, I got home just now. That's the gist of it. I open the door once I finish changing. 
Mia was standing there apologetically. <sighs> it's fine, you don't need to be that concerned with it. You did come here to clean. Pat Mia's hung head. She shakes with a twitch. <laughs> Mia should have been with Fina the whole time the Lun Lunar Royal Palace. Not including myself, all the members of her house are female. Hard to think about it. She might be a bit immune when it comes to guys. It's a relief that I wasn't completely nude. Tatsuya, Mia ni nani ka shitan janai? Sakki kara Mia ga okashi wa? My eyes meet with Mia as I look to the kitchen. She turns her back and lowers her eyes like she saw some she wasn't supposed to. Oh crap. I have to explain the situation to Vina too. Uh, just, just leave it to me. There's something come up. You don't trust the task to me. But, uh, what should I do? First of all, I have to tell Mia that it doesn't bother me. And then, I just have to ask her not to worry about it. Mia? She's blushing already. That was fast. Oh, hi. Hey, uh, Mia, I need to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Everyone gathers here. They stare at me. It's impossible to settle this in secret now. Seems like everyone was telling me about our hidden family life accidents. Uh, why is the conversation going that way? Yeah, that's true. Looks like I've lost my place as the man of the household. <laughs> Mia's expression was finally returning back to normal. Mia, go ni iri te wa go ni shitagai. So desu ne, Tatsuya-san, shitsurei itashimashita. Nah, don't sweat it. But, but do knock tech next time, just in case. Hai, gomen nasai. Doesn't look like Mia was overly depressed as she bows. Here's the thing, if they catch me with only my boxes on, I don't give a shit, as long as the boxes are still on, you know? That's when it gets awkward. Like, if the boxes are off, it's just like, oh, sorry about that, hold on, uh, pants, there we go, put it on, now we can talk. Because it's still mildly awkward with boxes, but it's not awkward enough to be like, uh, could you, like, close the door so I can continue? No, just, you know what, uh, hi there, uh, hold on, I'm gonna just, like, grab, grab some pants, put them on, now we can talk, because who the fuck cares that I'm shirtless. It doesn't look like me, I was overly depressed as she bows. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone washes their face and the water gets heated up after Vina says that. Finish eating breakfast considered consisting of bacon, eggs, and toast smeared with Mia's jam and butter. I'm a judge of jizz washing in the day. Hey, Mia. Call out to Mia who was cleaning up the tableware beside me. It's been quite a while since you've come here. <sighs> what do you think of that, of what Fina said earlier with uh, when in Rome? Mia speaks after thinking for a short moment. Then... About doing what you want to do since you're finally out of the royal palace. Yeah, lying around and taking naps throughout the day, going to play at a theme park, or going to swim at the pool. Oh, but you are bad with crowns. She starts to worry in earnest. Finish washing the dishes and wait for Mia's response. A sudden rain shower from this morning has cleared up, and the weather is fine now. Mia has been holed up inside the house ever since she came here. The only time she goes out are for shopping. That's something Mia wanted to do herself. She does mostly doesn't speak of the things she wants. It's probably better to not force her to think about this. 
The moment I think that. Tatsuya san, omoi tsukimashita! Oh, what? Watashi, Hime sama to Tatsuya san to picnic ni itte mitai desu. Picnic, huh? Right, got it. I'll tell Fina and the others, so please prepare the food for us. Hi! She prepares the canteens and makes sandwiches after that. My and Ness unwillingly accept, uh, accept that preparing dinner and doing the housework. Fina and I help out as well. Uh, the three of us leave the house right after, right about noon. Alright. It's gotten a little hot. Mia, that dress was Mia responds and starts to skip around happily. Her cheery mood transmits to us, and it even makes me feel pretty excited about our picnic. That's probably better to rest under the shade of a nearby tree. That's right. Me and I get pulled up the hill by Mia. Mia-sama! Let's do it here! It's a good place. Mia, you're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Still nice and wholesome thus far. Mia smiles with her whole face as she's praised by Fina. When I can, even I can sense her joyous feelings of being praised by Fina, the one she admires. Let's spread out the um, Let's spread out the sheet then. There was a peaceful spot with moderate sunlight and proper shading. The spot that Fina found that Mia found and spread the sheets under is a very nice spot. The bags would become really heavy then. So I managed to get here with just the cups and sauces. <laughs> Black tea from the canteen was kept reasonably warm. Mia then takes out the biscuits she pre she'd prepared this morning from inside the basket. Even though Mia is the one who was first proposed this picnic, she's the most brisk worker here. Seems to be enjoying it. I feel that side of her is just like Mia. I feel like that side of her is just like Mia. Relaxed by looking at the cloud, up at the clouds without a thought. It's unusual for me to be drinking tea around now, with a bit of a cool breeze blowing. The sun happens to be covered by scattered clouds weakening the strong sunlight. Mia, can you give me a drink? Yes, Hime Sama. Black tea Mia made is somewhat strong on the bitter side. I drink it after dripping some of Mia's strawberry jam in it. The cake is a plum cake. This is, uh, what should I say, a very elegant way to spend our time. Hey, you too often go on picnics like this. Yeah. そもそもこうして二人だけで一緒に出歩くことがほとんどなかったわ。いつもご栄冠やお魚たちがいたものね。そうでした。こんなにのんびりできるのは珍しいです。Mia says that with a smile. She falls up with a wide stretch and lets out a sigh. <laughs> I don't know what kind of an environment these two were in, in the, on the moon, but right now they have very calm expressions. Nobody says a word. The only sound we can hear is the swaying wind and the rustling of the leaves. But it wasn't boring. It feels like we're spending a prosperous time together. My stomach rumbles then all of a sudden. <laughs> Tatsuya san! サンドイッチを召し上がりますか? 
They also remember how to make a spicy teriyaki chicken sandwich. Oh fuck, that sounds amazing. She made one of each. Uh, she made each one of these after carefully examining the ingredients. Me Mia is enjoying the picnic very much. God fucking damn it, I feel like my mouth is starting to go out of control. She put effort into the preparations like it was natural to do so. Mina and I gobbled down the sandwiches that were filled with Mia's feelings. I relax again by drinking black tea and snacking on scones after the meal. The three of us bring up some, like, topics and then stay silent again. When I look at the sky that's mixed with the scent of... I look at the sky that's mixed with the scent of the, of the wind from dusk, the western sky had become red. That was good, Mia. Thank you. They'll be light on the way home. Basketball still some time before the sun sets. But it's probably gonna... But, but it's probably good to head home around now, too. Uh, and hold on to the bags. I'll fold up the sheet. That's great. Mia smiles while swaying the empty basket. Being an eye smile as well. こんなピクニックがしたいなって多分ずっと思ってたんです。あまり考えたことはなかったんですけど、達也さんがやりたいこと考えてみてって言ってくれたおかげです。そうね。We're we start on the road home, thinking about what today is enjoyable. Uh, we're thinking about today's enjoyable day under the sunset. Mia's happy smile lit by the red sun. Red sun over paradise. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it's truly impressive. Red sun. Red sun over paradise. Sorry about that. I really like the Metal Gear Rising soundtrack. I have extra time now that summer vacation is here. And that means I can do things I couldn't before. <laughs> so, choking, of course. Uh, so for the time being, I think I'll do some maintenance on your town's dog houses after such a long time. <laughs> Italians pant as I approach him. Sorry, girls, no walk for now. Take a look at the doghouse. It's been exposed to rain and wind for a while now, and it rattles here and there. Carbo, who's gotten pretty big, can break the cold uh, the doghouse, even if she's just fooling around. Alright, let's do this. The Italians were immensely curious over what I was doing. They stared at me with a, from a, in a sitting posi posture as I work. I'm reinforced nails to start with. Looks like it might be a good idea to do a little painting, too. I'm very rare to tools. Huh, where's the hammer? Took the toolbox out from the out of the attic back when Mia started sleeping in there. Should be here. Maybe it's still in the attic. I run up the stairs and up the ladder and knock on the door. Are you there, Mia? You can hear feet scurrying inside. Yeah. Is there a hammer in there? I can hear her feet pattering now. Can I come in? It's been a while since I've been in Mia's room. As usual, the room looks simplistic. Uh, more accurately, it contains very few personal belongings. There was a toolbox in the corner here, and I thought there might be a hammer inside. Let me search around a little. Ah, Tatsuya-san! Ah, so no. Eto. 
uh, fidgets, uh, Mia, Mer Mia fidgets as she tries to, tries to say something. Uh, tell me ahead of time if there's a place you don't want me to snoop around in. <laughs> Mia points at a drawer that contains her clothes. Well, that's a given. Although this was originally a room used for storage, I have to take Mia into consideration since she's a girl. Sorry, I should have paid more attention. Please don't say something like that. As I mentioned this before, but I think of you and Fina as family members as well. A box with Mia's personal belongings falls from the shelves. Ah, sorry! The two of us pick up the stuff in a hurry. That's us. Nice. There's a photograph inside a brooch. The photo shows two women. One of them is someone I've seen several times inside my introduction to Selenology textbook, Queen Sophilia. <sighs> Your mother? Remember right, your mother was Fina's wet nurse. Fina looks far into the distance as she says that. She's talking about herself more than usual. In other words, might always be on her mind. Your mother looks kind. でも、私はもちろんですが、フィーナ様にも言うべきことはきちんと言ってましたよ。もしかすると、フィーナ様もセフィリア様より母様に多く怒られていたかもしれません。私も母様のようになれるといいなと思ってます。<笑> I see. You are my right, Queen Sophia passed away three years ago. Maybe Mia's mother became a replacement for Fina's mother. Put something with a long handle behind the wardrobe. Take a look there. Ah, that's the hammer. Try to pull out the handle. Hmm. She's stuck on something, I can't pull it out. Uh, can you get your hands in here, Mari? Uh, Mia. Why does it say Mari? Uh, well, pff, I don't know, Real. Should be, should be fucking obvious. obvious. Looks like it's caught on something. Change places, and Mia gradually gets her arms behind the wardrobe. Oh, you got your arm in. The crack looks considerably small. You have thin arms. So, so me tie this in me. Ah, has it a master? Yo, hey, that's yes, eh? Can I do this? Thank you, Mia. I'll take the hammer. His arm that hands me the hammer is a neat slender. Mm -hmm. I think with Mia is the only attendant to have come to Earth with the princess from the Lunar Kingdom. Mia is so tiny. I'm sure she's tried very hard and made a lot of effort to come this far. There, there. Suddenly I'm petting Mia's head. <laughs> Mia looked both slightly troubled and happy. You're, you're admirable, Mia. <laughs> Keep stroking her head without answering her question. Finally let Mia go and descent downstairs. Mia was nervous the whole time I petted her. I'm sure the Italians are eagerly waiting for me. Step out of the garden to resume my work on the dog houses. The repairs to the dog houses went without a hitch. And now that summer break is here, I make time to carry Mia's shopping bags. Since uh, my, Fina, and I are eating at home and more often the amount of food we need has gone up. I'm holding the shopping be bags besides Mia today. That's it for today's shopping, right? Eh, so 
bags filled with tons of food. And, uh, the, ba the bag filled with tons of food is honestly a little heavy. It's probably impossible for me to carry this by herself. I'm fine, I'm fine. Automatically replying like that makes me really feel like a guy. More importantly, the bird's nest is around here, isn't it? So this Me found a tree with a bird's nest earlier. A tree should be around here. <laughs> Mia runs towards a roadside tree as if she found something. And then she squats down at the base of the tree. What's wrong, Mia? Tatsuya-san! This... I to Mia's hand is a small featherless chick. It's lying down, lifeless. Uh, looks like, uh, that, Though I think it looks alive. Or its parents. <laughs> I look up at the tree. They certainly weren't there. No signs of anything living there. Looks like some kind of other bird or cat. Take a good look and it seems like the nest is broken. This already looks pretty weak. I mean, it looks at me like she's pleading for help, but it's very difficult to raise a bird like this with human hands. Probably die soon. Mia's voice is a little cheery. Alright. Probably shouldn't neglect that. Place a hand on her head. Let's take it home for the time being. We'll need to buy food for it too. Hi. Mia smiles and nods with teary eyes. <laughs> like, he is the man who picked up four fucking da abandoned dogs. He does not get to argue on this point. I bring the chick to Mia's room once we get home. Makes a bed for it in a basket and I look up what kinds of fe seeds it fe to feed this it. Is the window shut? Hi. Pretty sure I know what kind of food it needs. Let's go buy it immediately. And then me and I head for the shopping district. We buy millet seeds for chicks from the pet store. Shop millets are covered with egg yolk. And after Talking to green grocer ge to, uh, to green grocer geezer, he gives us a cardboard box to use as a bird cage. Can't fly it all yet, so that should be enough. Urged by Mia, we return home. The chick is still alive, despite being so weak. It opens its eyes when it sees us and protrudes its beak intimidatingly. Mm, look at that intimidation! It's rolled a 17, you're intimidated now. <laughs> Let's see when I would get a net 20. So that's three rolls. The third roll was a 19, so that was already pretty good. Uh, four rolls, five rolls, six rolls, seven rolls, eight rolls, nine rolls. The ninth roll is a nat one. Ten rolls. 11 rolls, 12 rolls, 13 rolls, 14 rolls, 15 rolls, and 15 is another nut one, 16 rolls, 17 rolls, 18 rolls, 18 is another fucking 19, 19 rolls, 20 rolls, 21 rolls, 22 rolls, 23 rolls, 24 rolls, 20, 25 on the 25th roll, finally a 20. Jesus Christ, how, what terrible luck do I have? Now I just feel the need to fuck, and that one out just feel the desire to roll the stats again. Wow, I got a plus zero overall, that's terrible. <laughs> Yeah, 
as we spread newspaper out in the cardboard box and I lay, and lay the chick down in there. Sure. Take out the millet seeds from the bag. You have to soak these in warm water or egg yolk when you're feeding chicks, it seems. We have to put it inside its mouth, so I suppose if we don't have a dropper. A spoon would be too big. Mia heads down to the kitchen. I do more research on keeping pet birds in the meantime. Looks like it's best to not just give it millet seeds. It needs a ride, very diet. This just reminds me of that one time, my class. It, it, uh, I think I talked about this before. I didn't immediately move from kindergarten into first class. I went to like a separate institution thing that is supposed to help kids with like uh, ADHD or the or kids who don't have quite a proper grasp on the German language yet. Uh, properly develop those skills before they go into go on to school. And back then we found like a like a very hurt, like two very hurt chicks. One of them died sadly, and I was fucking devastated about that. Uh, but the other one managed to live. Then we uh, returned it to its nest after it. Like both of them had like a broken wing. So we basically tried to nurse them back together. One of them died, the other one actually properly healed, so we returned it to its nest. And a few days later, we found the chick dead under the nest. So that was fucking... Mm, sad. We have to feed it quite often. We have to keep it warm. Most importantly, we have to return it to the wilderness as soon as possible. Seems to be a law that requires you to have a permit for ri raising wild animals. In addition, it looks like keeping it alive is difficult in itself. This will be hard. It's so holding a chopstick with, uh, with the end carved into a s tiny spoon. When we put the food deep down its throat, yeah, the chick drinks it cautiously. <laughs> Mia rejoices just from seeing it take one bite. Then I didn't think Mia would be this happy. It'd be nice if it got its energy back. I pat Mia's head with my hand. The two of us look up various things after that and look at or think about what to do from there. Good luck. I'll come and check up on it every now and then. Hi. The bird cage was placed in Mia's room. Mia also took on the task of caring, of taking care of it. And form everyone at dinner that Mia is raising a chick. And that's what she wants to do. Whoops. Mia. Everyone accepts the chick just fine. It'll probably be hard to raise it until it leaves the nest, but me is filled with no motivation. It's precious. It should take a considerable time to take care of the chick. However, she doesn't skimp on the housework. She sure is trying hard. <sighs> Still, Mia stretches and yawns sometimes. How's the chick doing? What about, what about a night? So that's the cause of her yawning. But Mia looks satisfied. Her motherly instincts are being raised. Mia says with a smile. I'll tag along. Oh, yeah, should we change the, ch the chick's bird cage? 
Let's try looking for a bird cage. Hi. Mir responds energetically. We'll have to buy the bird cage first if we are getting one. Then we'll have to go back to the house temporarily. That's how big it'll be. If it can't practice flapping its wings inside the cage, it can't return back to the wilderness. Got to think of it. Do you have any money you can use for yourself? Kina you know, seems to hold on to some. Can you manage to cost the bird food? I can't overdo it too much, but I'll help with what I, with what I can. To do this, did pick it up. It'd be better if you said thank you at times like this. So, so She's too fucking adorable. God damn it. I'm being drawn again and again. How dare you do these things? You make me feel pain and then you like drag me back in. <laughs> I'm still feeling very exhausted about this game though, so yeah. It's still only doing Mirrors routed then Wreaths and finally the through route. Mia bows. I'll become happy for some reason and I pat Mia's head. Mia blushes. She looks a little embarrassed, but also happy. Even I get in a joyous mood and I'm putting, petting Mia's head. After that, we buy bird cage and various types of food from the pet store. And bring the bird cage home, then head out to shop for the usual things. Mia-chan, today the geese grabs two bundles of spinach. Mia's eyes are spinning in confusion. Go on, Mia, give me your thanks. Please tell us if the tomatoes are flabby. おやま、たっちゃんも荷物持ちがいたについてきたね。で、みやちゃん、今日は何にするんだい？今日はね、タチウオがいいの入ってるよ。あの、今日はその、そうかい？残念だね。It's amazing how she understood the conversation just from Mia's as and ums。魚は体にいいんだからね。たくさん食べなさいよ。Mia is merely getting flustered any uh, isn't merely getting flustered anymore. She got the shopping properly now. Even the shopping district has become mindful of Mia too. Mia is at the house while I'm at school and when I'm working. She does the cooking, laundry, cleaning and everything else. Of course I'm not sure I'm, I'm of course I'm sure she goes to the shopping district almost every day. Besides, if anybody would want to support me if they look, took a look at her small figure trying to do her best. Might be natural for the shopping district people to dote on her. The house plants have clearly gotten healthier since Fina and Mia arrived. Everywhere inside the house is free of dust. I'll carry them here. You're always drying them for us. So he grabbed the sheets and Mia had a hard time carrying them. I suppose. The sheets are, I'm holding are soft and carry the scent of the sun. Lately, Mia's face comes to mind whenever I smell my sheets. Put the sheets on top of the bed with a flop. No problem. I can't just watch you when I'm inside the house. I want to help too. Mia's 
Mia puts on a troubled expression. It's rare for Mia to joke round like this. <laughs> Let out a smile as I recall how tense Mia was when she first came to our house. It's the usual dinner time after work ends at Salmon's. このトマトソースの味がなかなか自分で作っても出せなくて。イタリアのトマトは水分が少なくて味が濃いからな。うちも商売上がったりだよ。ビーナちゃん、もしそうなった時はミヤちゃんをぜひうちに。そ、それは困
Three days pass and Fina and Mia come back. Welcome back. Yeah, he's just fine. ああ、姫様、それは内緒に。なあ、なあ、とわい。あ、ちょ、プラップケアオブイト。ドジュリーブイトビーデンナイ。イズフェイスブライトンズアップイトフライ。ナイス、ナイス。ありがとうございました。
Pepperoncina wags her tail as if she was satisfied with being walked by a new person. We've come back in one piece. Maybe if you did let go, I'd come back home anyway. Yeah. Didn't they pull you this way all the as you walked back? What if they understood your feelings? The girls always run when someone holds their leash for the first time. Kobunaga <laughs> tilts her head as if she was asking what's this about. Arabiata stays indifferent throughout the whole ordeal. Tied three dogs to their dog houses. <laughs> Good job, Mia. Want to try walking them by yourself next time? I intended to say that as a joke. Uh, yes. If you want to take a walk with me, please do. Please do. Everyone is busy, but if I can go with you, it's fine. She sounded a lot more eager than I expected. Mia definitely thinks that we'll be happy once she's able to walk the dogs. Of course, Fina is first on her list, but being accepted by us and the people around her, being of use to us and being praised, being ple and, and pleasing us as she does her work, that's what makes Mia the happiest. Uh, that's not what I meant. I love walking the docks too, so I want to go as well, if time allows. It would be nice if you came to like walking the docks too. It'd be nice if one day you got a dog of your own. But we've got a bit of topic. I'll be happy if you end up liking dogs yourself. Mia soon smiles. But Arabiata makes a face like she's promising not to pull anymore and barks before I can say anything. <laughs> Alright, leave it to me. Mia bows. Me and I pet the heads of the Italians one by one now that they've finished playing to their satisfaction. That I want to pet most is Mia's, though. Mia's too fucking adorable to the point where she's actually making me, like, have to forcibly, like, end the video. <laughs> Mia's just that adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And see you next time. Bye bye. Why couldn't this ride have been the first one? If this ride was the first one, I would not have been so burned out on this game. Like, goddamn. Thus far, at least.